Why do wind turbines shut down in high wind speeds? Today we're going to have a look at two wrong reasons that we've heard people say that they think wind turbines shut down uh, when the winds are very strong, and three correct reasons. Um, but I should note that this is a this is a genuine question. We actually wonder why wind turbines have to shut down in wind speeds, and that's why we're making this video. So, so if you know things that we don't know, by all means, please let us know. So write a comment or send us an email if you prefer but but we're genuinely interested in the topic so you know you, you might you might have something to add to the video so to answer this question we're gonna have a look at the the onshore templates i'm gonna add the sensor at the the bottom of the the tubular tower and maybe i can start at a slightly lower wind speed and um so yeah the first wrong reason is well if the wind is too strong then the rotor is going to be spinning faster and faster until that creates problems and i think people say that because they've seen this video or you know similar one where you know there's a storm and there's some kind of fault probably a grid loss and the rotor just spins faster and faster until the blade hits the tower and the whole thing collapses but but this is a fault so wind turbines in when they're operating normally they, they won't you know they won't be spinning faster and faster and that's something that we can show quickly here so if i plot the rpm so the rotations per minute and the wind speeds you can see when i start my simulation yeah so i have a, a certain um, rotational velocity so you know the velocity at which the the blades are rotating if i increase my wind speed from 9 to 10 which you can now see here that way from 9 to 10 you see that yes so right now it is spinning faster than before and that's you know that's correct for this low, lower wind speed so if i increase it again you'll see that yeah the the rotational velocity increases but you get to a point and for this uh, wind turbine that point is 11.4 meters per second a wind speed you get to this point where if you increase the wind speed the rotational velocity doesn't increase anymore and yeah, I mean, you, you might know this already, right? It's like here we've, we've reached the, the rated wind speed, so then the rotor just rotates at the, at the rated RPM. And if I keep increasing my wind speed, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna make it spin faster and faster. So there you have it. That's a first reason that's a first wrong reason that we've heard people say, but that's incorrect. Wind turbines don't spin faster and faster because of high winds. Another one that's... Uh, it's quite counterintuitive, but it's, you know, people saying that, well, if the wind is too strong, then the tower may break, you know, because you're going to be pushing the wind turbine like strong and stronger. And then the bending moment at the bottom is going to be too strong and, and, and the tower may break. And this, yeah, this is actually also wrong. Um, so if I come here and I plot the thrust force, so the thrust is the, you know, the force that's pushing my wind turbine in, in this direction. So it's the sum of all these blue vectors here. If I plot the thrust force, uh, which is what I'm doing here, then you see that we have the same pattern. So, you know, the, the force does increase for these relatively low wind speeds, but then it decreases. And as you can imagine, if, if that's how the thrust force looks like, then you know, if I look at the, if I look at the, the bending moments at the bottom of my tower, then I'm, I'm gonna get something very similar. So. You know, you see that we had an increase in the bending moment, but after the rated wind speeds, we get uh, this decrease. So, so the stronger the wind, the lower the thrust force actually. Once you're past the the, the rated wind speeds, and the, the lower the bending moment. And so this is true for the tower, but it's also true for the blades. Um, if I remove a couple of graphs here, and now we plot what's happening in the blades. So I'm going to plot the moment at the root of the blade and the deflection of the tip. So and in, in this direction for, for both of them, so in the out of plane direction. And you know, you can have a look at this and again, the same pattern. So the moment increases, then we, get, we reach rated wind speeds and then it decreases. And this is the tip deflection. So this is another wrong reason. It's not that the the force, or at least as we'll see later, this this the average force is uh, is too strong for the structure. So yeah, so now let's look into into reasons that that are actually uh, yeah, real reasons for for why wind turbines have to shut down and 
here for example if I increase the wind speed to 40 meters per second and now my wind turbine is still operating so you know we haven't shut it down so it's trying to produce um, its rated power and what you can see here is that the load distribution on the blades is is um, well it's very uneven right so you have like very strong loads in this direction here in the other direction here so that's for the torque force same for the thrust that you have here and what that means is that this, there's going to be you know large shear forces um, internally here and and those forces are something that could break the blades or that could damage the blade so so you know that's one reason why you need to shut down the the wind turbine in, in high wind speeds is to to preserve the structural integrity of the blades another reason and okay let's have a look so if i press f1 and I click wind i can go to the user manual and here we want to have a look at the turbulent winds and okay yeah a look at the turbulence so this is the theory manual now so what we've seen so far is you know constant uniform winds which is not what happens in real life right in real life you have turbulent winds and if you look at the turbulence intensity it decreases with wind speeds but this is slightly misleading at least in this context in, in the context of this video because so the turbulence intensity is the standard deviation um, of the wind velocity divided by the average wind, wind speed and that actually increases with increasing um, average wind speed and what that means is that you know for for larger wind speeds even though you might have lower average um, forces as, as we've seen before you will get larger vibrations you get bigger vibrations and um, and this could create yeah again this could damage the the structure and you know possibly um, decrease fatigue life so so that's another reason is that when you increase the wind speeds the turbulence becomes more of a problem um, but none of these two reasons are something insurmountable like in both cases we could just build you know stronger blades or, or stronger structure overall um, which brings us to the last point which is that actually these very high wind speeds they don't happen that often in a year so you know you could spend the extra money making your your structure stronger so that it can withstand the high wind speeds but you would get very little out of it because the amount of time during which you can produce power would be quite limited so it's again one of these you know engineering questions that have like uh, things that, that have to that you have to consider for, for both uh, for both sides and it's another compromise between finance finance aspects and, and structural uh, integrity um, and again these are reasons that that we know that you know that we know of but I'm sure that there's many other reasons that uh, come into play to answer these questions so if you know any please uh, do let us know and as always if you've liked the video you can press like or or subscribe to the channel and yeah we'll see you around Thank you.